Really? Okay. Hello again, gang. Glenn here, and as we near the end of the subscription boxes, today we're going to go over a box that is a little bit on the different side, and that is the Cosmo Cube. This is the second or third Cosmo Cube that we've gotten. Um, the thing about Cosmo Cube, and I'm really starting to kind of come over to their side here, is their boxes haven't been great, but they've been different. And I've said it many times, is what I'm looking for in these boxes is unique items. Items that you're not going to find in other boxes. Items other than the standard subscription geeky box stuff. And Cosmo Cube is starting to deliver that. They're a different kind of company. Um, as you recall, the Cosmo Cubes, they hold art contests every month and then the winner gets to be the artist for either their t-shirt or uh, their mini poster or what have you. And I, um, you know, I really like that concept. Even if the actual final product has been kind of hit or miss with them, um, I like that idea. And it's a great way for them to keep costs down as well. Um, if they don't particularly have to hire their artists or you know go to some sort of outside place to get these this art. They can actually commission it by having a contest. So I think that's that's a really neat idea. And their themes have been different. Um, and this month is no exception. So the Cosmo Cube theme for this month is steampunk. And that is this is the first box that I've actually gotten that's had that theme. I know there's been other boxes in the past that have done that. Um, but it's an unusual theme that you don't see very often. So let's start off with the shirt. All right, we've got a blue shirt, already a different than most of the boxes where you get a black shirt or a gray shirt maybe. Um, and this is a nice mashup of steampunk. It's not really a mashup, I guess. But you've got Mega Man uh, in the midst of a shield with some old-timey armor. So this is actually a pretty nice design. Very simple, black and blue, and I dig it. I like that design a lot. Um, this is a shirt I would definitely wear. Um, I've already tried it on. It fits really well, um, and it's a nice, decent quality shirt. So, good job with the shirt uh, to start off with. Okay, next, we'll go ahead and do the poster. They do have a mini poster, and this is their, you know, winning artist. And this is a, yeah, I've seen these a lot. You, this pretty common theme to do like a steampunk Iron Man armor. Uh, picture or poster so not exactly that different I mean, it fits the theme really well but kind of expected this is kind of a, a no-brainer um, for a steampunk uh, steampunk box decent art I like it um, only problem is the papers kind of cheap papers kind of thin uh, it's not much for poster paper so that being the case when they rolled it up has a lot of nicks on the sides it's got the rolling creases marginally displayable You've got the white background that would be good to kind of be the out, you know, in a frame. Um, so it would work, but just not as good quality of a mini poster as you get in some of the other boxes. And some of the other boxes we've gotten this month have actually had some good quality uh, mini posters. This isn't bad, but they could do better a little bit. All right, we've got a pop figure in this box, which I was not expecting. Now, we've got a pop from Magic the Gathering. Now, before... I get too far into this particular pop, I've actively avoided Magic the Gathering pops because I have no interest in that whatsoever. Uh, you see these all the time at Target, particularly. Um, my local Targets pretty much have Magic the Gathering and Frozen Pops, and that's pretty much it. It's rare to find something at one of my Targets that's that's other, other than that. So, um, now having said that, the pop itself is a pretty nice pop as far as the design goes. Again, I'm not much into these, into this, uh, into the Magic the Gathering scene, but looking strictly as a pop collector and someone who appreciates the molds and the paint jobs and things like that, which you've seen in my, my pop reviews, this is actually a nice figure. Um, it'll come out, out of the box and go on display, um, but it's not one I would seek out just because it's... With pops, I tend to buy things that I like 
um, it's not an investment it's a hobby and it's you know I get characters that I like and from time to time I'll you know in a box or as a freebie or something I'll get something that I'm not really that interested in but I'll still display it you know Dragon Ball Z comes to mind Magic the Gathering comes to mind and this is the first one of these I have so so from a positive standpoint it's one I don't have right um, but it's also one I wouldn't seek out but it fits the theme it fits the theme just fine and uh, it's a pop figure and I was surprised I was surprised to get a pop final so that's a good thing all right now here we get into some weird items and you've seen these already a couple times from me but the steampunk welding goggles um, and I think I'm wearing them upside down. and you remember what I said about different items well this qualifies um, these are you know they're not metal they're not they're plastic you know they they're not exactly you know super high quality but they have a neat, neat look and they're different and they're there's something goofy there's something that somebody who cosplays can use these um, and you know bam there you go there's the look so it's not about items that are useful all the time or items that you know uh, are practical it's about items that are different it's about items that are fun it's about items that are unique and this definitely qualifies so at first when I got this I was like what are you kidding me but I've, yeah, I've kind of come around on it steampunk's not my favorite thing I really don't you know get into that scene but these are neat and I like these all right continuing in that tradition we've got a, actually a couple of jewelry items this one is a bronze ish watch fob and it's actually a pocket watch you can't see it very well but it's in there it's tiny and it actually works it's uh, an actual watch that um, you can you can wind and it works so kind of neat a, a watch fob kind of pendant kind of thing um, but a very neat item um, fits the theme great and it's again it's different you know I enjoy these kind of different things I don't know what I'm I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with it but um, it makes for a fun box and then the last thing I have is another pendant and this one is kind of a dainty little pendant necklace kind of thing but it glows in the dark it's got a little ball in there that's a glow-in-the-dark piece and I'll post a picture of what it looks like glowing in the dark um, but again it's it's not a super high quality thing but it's a nice um, a nice looking pendant um, that would actually make a pretty good gift for some. Again, it's basically just a glow-in-the-dark locket, but it's it's neat. It's a cool item, and uh, I like the different, the unique items. All right, we've got their card that has all the different items that are in the box. Um, I don't really like this card very much because it's super hard to read. Even with my glasses on, my reading glasses, it's tough to make out. It wasn't printed very well. Uh, but that's, a, again, that's a minor thing. So that's it for this box. I really like this box. I didn't at first. You know, when I saw these, I'm like, really? Is this what this box is going to be training towards? But I have come around. You know, I really like the uniqueness of this box. This is a different box than any box I've ever gotten in the 40 boxes or whatever that I've gotten. So, you know, the, the mini poster, okay, I guess. But everything else, unique items, a different shirt that has a cool design. A pop figure again it's not a pop figure I would go hunting for but as as figures go it's a nice one and for a common it's a nice one and then the different items this and the locket and the uh, and the, the watch and the watch fob just just neat items um, so I'm it makes me interested in what Cosmo Cube is going to do in the future because they're making it different they're making it unique they're not just throwing out another subscription box so uh, I'm gonna give this box a a solid A. Even though it's a theme I really don't care much about, I thought that the the items were unique enough and different enough and fun enough to really make this box worthwhile. So um, I'm throwing the Cosmo Cube link down in the description. Definitely recommend trying them out. Um, they're a newer company, but they've impressed me with um, their different way of going about making their subscription box. Uh, that's it for this. Thanks for watching. Um, we're coming up quickly on uh, on our big giveaway day, so I'm excited about that. Keep retweeting uh, this video on Twitter. Um, of course, subscribe 
that's the most important thing. I love interacting with everybody, so leave your comments as well. And uh, check us out over on our Facebook page and like that page. I'm going to post a lot of pictures of a lot of this particular box especially. Um, so that's it for now. Uh, until we meet again, I will see you later.